Hello to all. Today we are going to discuss a very important topic related to the digestive system and that is known as the dental formula. Okay. Now question arises that what is dental formula? You know very well that in the human beings there is an upper jaw and there is a lower jaw. Okay. And the arrangement of the teeth in the upper jaw and the lower jaw is same in the case of the human beings. I am not telling that the uh, upper jaw and the lower jaw arrangement of the teeth will be same in all creatures, not necessary. That if, but if I am focusing just now on the human beings, then it is same, okay? And say for if this is the upper jaw, na, so you have to first concentrate only on one half of the upper jaw. And in the lower jaw also, you have to concentrate on the one half of the jaw. Is it clear? And then we will be creating a formula and after that to calculate the total number of the teeth found in the human buccal cavity, we will be multiplying with 2. Are you getting? So what I want to say, dental formula represents the arrangement of teeth in each half of the, each half, not the complete half of the upper or the lower jaw. Dental formula represents arrangement of the teeth in each half of the upper jaw and each half of the lower jaw in order of I, C, P, M and M. What is I, C, P, M and M? I for incision, C for canine, P, M for premolar and M for molar. Which in human adult, which in human adult is 2123 upon 2123. Say for we have created a formula, right? And that is the 2123, 2123. How it comes? We will be discussing just now. And if we multiply this formula with 2, then we will be getting the total number of the teeth found in the human adult. Okay? So if total number of teeth of a formula, right? Total number of teeth of a formula is multiplied by 2. If total number of the teeth of a formula is multiplied by 2, it will give total number of the teeth. Fine. Say for we are representing here the dental formula of a human adult. Okay. So in short, you can write like this type 2123 upon 2123 into 2 is equal to 32. This is 2123 is representing the number of teeth in one half of the lower jaw upon 2123 which represents the number of the teeth in one half of the lower jaw into 2 is equal to 32 okay how it comes 2 and 1 3 3 and 2 5 5 and 3 8 8 2 jaw 16 same as in the lower jaw 2 and 1 3 3 and 2 5 5 and 3 8 8 2 jaw 16 16 plus 16 32 okay so what i want to say 2123 upon 2123 into 2 is equal to 32. In C-shape, 2 upon 2, right, means 2 incisor teeth are present in one half of the upper jaw and 2 incisors are present in one half of the lower jaw. Similarly, canines, 1 canine in one half of the upper jaw and one canine in one half of the lower jaw. Exactly, premolars, two in one half of the upper jaw, two in one half of the lower jaw. And molars, three in one half of the upper jaw, and three in one half of the lower jaw. So the formula comes two, one, two, three, upon two, one, two, three, into two. So we'll be getting the total number of the teeth, that is 32. In short, we can call it as 2123 upon 2123 into 2 is equal to 32. Is it clear? Now, second one. Child. If I talk about a human child, age group of 2 year or a 3 year or a 4 year, means below 8 years or below 9 years, okay? That comes into the category of the child. So, here the dental formula is 2102 upon 2102 in one half of the upper jaw and one half of the lower jaw. If I will be multiplying with two, I will be getting what? I will be getting number of teeth that is 
20. I will be getting 20. How I got 20? 2 and 1, 3. 3 and 2, 5. 5, 2, ja, 10. 2 and 1, 3. 3 and 2, 5. 5, 2, ja, 10. So 10 plus 10, 20. Is it clear? Now, if I calculate the dental formula of a 17 year old human being, why I have written 17 year only? Because we know very well that the wisdom teeth, which are also called as the third molars, that erupt at the age between 18 to 25. Now, if the question is asked of a 17 year old boy or girl, so definitely uh, it might not be having the wisdom teeth. So you can reduce 4 teeth. That is 32 minus 4. That comes out to be 28. So here the number is 2122 upon 2122. This is the, this is the formula we generated from the one half of the upper jaw and one half of the lower jaw. If you multiply with 2, we will be getting the total number of the teeth. So 2 and 1, 3, 3 and 2, 5, 5 and 2, 7, 7 to ja, 14. In the lower half also we will be getting the 14. So 14 plus 14 that comes out to be 28. So 2122 2 upon 2122 2 2 into 2 is equal to 28. So you have, we have created three types of the dental formula in the human beings. That is the human adult. 2123 upon 2123 into 2, a child, 2102 upon 2102 into 2 is equal to 20 and 2122 upon 2122 into 2 is equal to 28 in a 17 year old uh, human being. Is it clear? Now, these are the dental formula of the other mammals also which may help you sometime. Okay, but you have to focus on these three formulas. Now, horse and pig. Now, horse and pigs are such type of the mammals which have highest number of the teeth. In the entire mammals, horse and pig are having the highest number of the teeth that is 44. And the dental formula is 3143 upon 3143 into 2 is equal to 44. If I talk about the rabbit, the dental formula is 2033 upon 1023 into 2 is equal to 28. The thing to be noticed here is that that the number of the teeth in the upper half uh, that is the upper jaw and the number of the teeth in the lower jaw are not same. 2033 upon 1023 into 2 that comes out to be 28. In the red 1003 upon 1003 into 2 is equal to 16. In elephant 1003 0, 0, 0, 3 into 2 is equal to 14. In dog, 3142 upon 3143 into 2 is equal to 42. In cat, 3131 upon 3121 into 2 is equal to 30. And in cow, 0, 0, 3 upon 3133 into 2 is equal to 32. Okay. So, uh, the video was based on the dental formula of the human beings as well as the dental formula of the other mammals. So thanks a lot for watching me.